Hello everyone, and welcome back to SideQuest. I am back in Darkroot Garden because there are a lot of things that I still kind of need to do out here, I think. So first of all, uh, for those of you who watched last episode, if you are disappointed that I didn't fight huge, pretty scythe lady with a tail, uh, apologies. Maybe I should have fought her. I really don't know much about her. And I guess that's kind of the thing. I'm playing this game still mostly blind for you guys, and, uh, it is my goal to play it pretty much how I normally would if I was playing it on my own. So, uh, the way I normally play is I generally don't kill characters if I, if they don't seem like characters that should be killed, so. I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake, maybe not, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, Darkroot Garden slash Basin. We are here because there are some things I neglected to do last time, and I think it is now high time to get on with that. First off, I believe there is a Black Knight down here that I neglected to fight last time because I was a chicken. But now I am not a chicken, or rather I am a level 70 chicken <laughs> with a big scythe. So... <laughs> Feeling a little more confident. But yes, we do have several things to do out this way. A lot of it mostly to do with the fact that I've just not explored this area nearly as thoroughly as I should. There was that whole area above the what? Ah, hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> You're a little easier than I expected. <laughs> That's okay. Ooh, that's a cool halberd. I like your stuff. I think I'll take it. Uh, but yes, there's the whole area above the- ooh, tunnel. Hmm. Let me check the item first. There's the whole area above where the hydra was. I should check that out. Grass crest shield, that's nice too, I assume. Let me check. Old medium metal shield of unknown origin. The grass crest shield is slightly imbued with magic with slightly speed stamina recovery. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what's in here. But yes, there are various places I need to explore, I think, before I move on. And also, I have been alerted that there are DLC-relevant things that I should be looking into out here. So I've not actually looked up stuff in detail. I did do a little bit of research to kind of figure out what areas of the game I need to explore more thoroughly or where I kind of need to be going and what sort of stuff I should be making sure to do. And specifically, I did want to... Hmm, elevator. Weird. I did want to look around and make sure that, um... I found where all the DLC zone areas were, because I do have the, uh... the, uh, DLC expansion that I forget what it's called, like Artorius of the Abyss or something like that. I do have the, uh, DLC for this. And, uh, I figure as long as I'm playing this for you guys, might as well play that too, but, uh but apparently it's not a super obvious place to find and just uh, casually stumble your way into, so I did just enough research to figure out where I needed to go to... Uh, oh, hey, we're here. Hello, Valley of the Drakes. This isn't exactly where I was intending to go, but whatever, let's do it. Are you gonna kill me instantly? I do hope not. You're tough. Tougher than I anticipated. That's okay. Ow. That's right. Down you go. Take that. Lost my train of thought. Dragon, you understand. Okay. This is not a good area for fighting one of you. Will you follow me out here? Oh, oh <laughs> I see you will. Very well. Da, 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 da. Ow. Yeah, you're definitely kind of tough. Whoa. Cheap move. Man. Yeah, they are kind of tough.
Please don't fly off and... Yeah, don't do that kind of thing. Can I stun you this way? That'd be kind of cool. Ooh, dragon scales. That's nice. Yeah. My point is, I'm going to be exploring Dark Root Basin today. <laughs> Ultimately. And, uh... Starting off the things necessary to... Uh, hang on. Starting off the things necessary to enter the DLC stuff, because I want to not miss that. Come on. No, don't go back there. I don't want to fight all three of you. That's a big door. It's a very big door. And I don't like the idea of fighting all three of you. Ow. No. Ow. Whew. Okay. I was a little reckless there, but... We managed it. Oh, the other one's gonna come attack me now. Should have thought this through. Should have thought this through. Didn't. Might regret it. Will regret it. Already am regretting it. Regrets. Having them. Having them. Having regrets. Having huge regrets. Need to heal. Desperately. Heal fast. <laughs> Get out of the way of that. Oh, I was hoping I would stun him. It didn't. Die, though. Good. Where's the other one? Maybe I will survive this. I don't know what's causing him to sometimes stun and the rest of the time not, but... It's alright, we can deal with this. Yeah! Nice! I don't know if there was any real reason for doing that. <laughs> I don't see any items or anything here. There's a large door. Kind of feel like I won't be able to push that open, though. Oh, there's a ladder, too. Push. Oh, well. I gave it my best shot. Yeah, let's see about that ladder, though. This is not at all what I was intending to do this episode, but now I'm just really curious, so... Let's see what's up. <laughs> One item. Fantastic. Red tear stone ring. That's cool. And... Whatever this is. I guess it's just a ladder. It's a long climb for one item. We... Okay. What is a red tear stone ring, anyway? Boosts attack when HP is low. Interesting. I am not nearly that bold. Did I come in from here? What did this door originally lead to? It's probably somewhere I've already been, but, like... Curious. Very curious. Oop, more drakes. More drakes in a narrow area. Not a fan. Not a fan. Ow. Whew. Playing a little reckless here. It's probably not gonna do good for me. That's hidden. It's just a humanity, but that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, that's a nice view. Very nice indeed. Deja vu happening right now. 
There is no way that doesn't come to life and try to eat me. And the fact that it's not tried yet only makes me more suspicious. That is definitely another one of those huge, cool-looking dragons. I mean, it definitely is. Of course it is. So why aren't you moving? You're just waiting for me to get close. Oh, I'm gonna regret this, I'm gonna regret this, I'm gonna regret this. Ooh, we have an item. Still gonna regret this, still gonna regret this. Uh, boy. I am way too close to a dragon. Can I have this? Is it okay? Never mind. Thank you. Okay, way too close to a dragon, way too close to a dragon, way too... Yikes. Let's just appreciate for a moment how cool this looks. I'll get back to feeling very scared for myself in a minute, but... Wow, that is awesome looking. What a cool design. This is a mistake. Yep, I knew it, 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 I'm getting out of here, ow! Getting out of here, leaving. And... dead. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, what, what else was gonna happen? What else was going to happen? And here we are. Got a sword, though. Oh, I also got this sword. From the painting guardians, I guess they're called. It's cool. I don't know why they're guarding the painting. I wonder why they're guarding the painting. Lore reasons, I'm sure there are many. Wow, really good dexterity scaling, though. Very interesting. Might have to keep this in mind for leveling later. Curved sort of on Orlando painting guards. Unique shape with flat tip. The guardians who strike down those who dare threaten the paintings attack in a continuous circular dancing motion, a technique passed down through generations. Very cool. Ah, Astora's straight sword. Straight sword of an unknown knight, likely one of Astora's superiors. High quality weapon with a powerful blessing, you say? But whatever it is, very cool, and... I, I should level up one of these lighter weight, faster dexterity weapons too, just to feel it out. I mean, as, as long as I'm boosting dexterity for stuff, I might as well try out some of these weapons, just for fun. If you guys have any recommendations, I'll, I'll ask on Twitter. I'm kind of playing pretty far ahead of what you guys have seen at this point. At least right now I am. So, uh, yeah, I'll ask you guys elsewhere. So, if you are watching this, thank you for the help. It was great. And in some future episode, You'll see me using that weapon. So now I wonder, are the drakes still- yeah, they're back. Okay. Fair enough. So I just now kind of want to see what's... past the, uh... past the big guy. Now that I stole this stuff. Whoa. Gotcha. There you go. It seems to be that there's a certain spot I'm hitting these drakes in that causes a much bigger blood effect splash and stuns them. But I can't tell if it's me, like, hitting their back or their head or a wing? I can't exactly tell, but, uh... Yeah, see, it happened again, right there. Or maybe I'm hitting their chest? I can't tell. Well, whatever. Oh, he's awake now. There is no moseying past that anymore. That is what I get for greediness. Is it feasible to walk past this thing anymore? Wow, that is so cool. The Dark Souls doesn't pull spectacle on you very often. It does not play that card with much regularity, but... That just means that the few times it does... 
Can't believe that worked. I was just talking and thinking about other stuff. <laughs> the few times it does pull spectacle on you, man, it really has an impact. So, hey, I have been out here before. This is a way. This is my shortcut down at the Blight Town. Where I am not going. Why would I go there? That's stupid. Let me make my way back to Dark Root, and we will resume our Dark Root explorations. Okay, here we go. We're back near the Hydra Lake. Gonna fight some crystal giants, I guess. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what anything's called. All I know is these guys look very pretty and cool when they explode. Poof! Magical. Alright, so I'm back out in this area for two reasons. One, to head back up those tall ladders and actually explore up top in that Dark Root Basin area. But also because there's something important for DLC triggering out here. Somewhere. And I will try to figure that out before this episode's over. And I will try to figure that out before closing this... And I will try to figure out where before ending this episode. Not here? Can I keep walking here? I just get the feeling I'm gonna find the one spot you're not supposed to walk. And I'm gonna sink like a stone. Eh. Watch your footing. Careful. I th think there's supposed to be a guy back Ah, you, yes. The golden... Golem thing. Golden is the important word. Like, I just know he's supposed to be golden. So I think if I beat him... That triggers some other thing. And then other stuff will happen, and eventually we'll get to a DLC level. So... He's tougher. Oh no, he's not. I, I have to stand corrected. He is not tougher. <laughs> he is just gold. And down you go. Hooray! Oh. I beg your pardon. So, tis thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseel. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseel, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? This water can't be good for your dress. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, yeah sure. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, Pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Good talk. You're a weird one, Dark Souls. Well. We did it. I think we've achieved what we set out to do. So... Hooray! Congrats for us! Uh... Hurrah! I think? And I will see you folks next time when we... climb some ladders and explore the rest of this dark root area. But, yes, thank you for watching, and I will... I will see you then.